house has a unique structure from the roof, the windows, the brickwork and the walls. But before all that can happen, a solid foundation has to be laid. The same could be said for improving community well-being. As just like a house, a strong foundation must exist. In order to achieve a healthy community, the community must have healthy lives and minds. Hello, my name is Amber Lee and this is Raven House. In a nutshell, Raven House is all about you, our community. The team here at Raven House work alongside you to help you find solutions to any issues that are affecting your health or well-being. Support and knowing exactly where to find it is a key to a healthy, vibrant community. And this is where I come in, as a part of the team that keeps the community connected, informed and ultimately supported. Information and resources is about providing information and resources to the community, which seems pretty straightforward, but that covers a whole range of different issues. So someone will approach us from the community, they don't need to be referred from a doctor or from any, anyone else, um, with any issue that they might be encountering. So what we do is when someone approaches us from the community, we provide them with the resources that they're wanting, and we can do that in a number of different ways. So they can phone us, it's confidential, it's free, or they can email us, which is becoming increasingly popular, or they can also just drop in, there's no appointment needed. We make sure that we provide that support and, let, and encouragement really, to let them know that there is information and support available in the community, but people need to know where to find it. So we have a directory of support services, and that lists about 400 organisations that are all designed to support people at a community level. So it's really about empowering individuals to achieve better health. So hopefully they do not have to go and access more intense support. It's, it's giving people support before it becomes a crisis situation. The Life Skills Programme offers a wide range of personal development groups and workshops, just like this one, where people can express their gems of wisdom through creative writing. Um, the Words of Wisdom group has been going for about four years now and um, we're a continuing group and most of the group are in the older age group, people who are um, perhaps isolated, families are grown up, so they see the Words of Wisdom group as a chance to get together and communicate, both through words and through writing. It makes such a difference to my life. I simply know that if I don't have healthy, wholesome, from the heart communication with people, I start having some strange switch off. The value for me is inestimable. I'd say I could cross the widest river to come. It, it really is so important to have that. I would say authentic fellowship. The Life Skills Programme is a range of groups, workshops, seminars that are aimed to build the resilience of our communities and the ind individuals within our communities. We um, set a programme which works currently by term and we are addressing what the current um, needs are and requests are that come from our community via our phones and across our networks. In today's society where we, we, we live in a very fast environment where depression is now predicted to be um, affecting one in five people, then I believe that the Life Skills Programme is very, is very important for everybody. For people to be healthy, their families have to be healthy too. Strengthening families is a direct link between families that need guidance and the support services they need. It's here to make whānau feel more comfortable when they are faced with tough, challenging times bringing together the guidance and support they need in a way that suits their needs. It becomes really overwhelming for Fano when they have to repeat their story to a lot of other different agencies. Over time it becomes really overwhelming for them and the consequence of that sometimes can lead to the family dropping out because they're exhausted and they are starting to begin to feel like they're not being heard. Pretty much, it's, it's, it's a place where the whānau don't have to repeat their story. As simple as that. Um, we do have normally over more than two agencies at the meeting. We can at some point um, have 20 agencies at one meeting. But it's a very, very important process um, in regards to the community. You know, when you've got productive people, you've got productive communities. 
So the Pearl Whanau are not well, they're not producing, okay. and, that, and that has an effect on the community. Our communities are becoming more and more diverse every day. At Rayburn House, we support diversity by providing information and resources to ensure that newcomers settle well into their new communities. Speeding is one of the factors of crashes in New Zealand. Don't speed unnecessarily. You know, if we happen to need to attend a function, important function, we leave home earlier. Southern Support is a service that's funded by Immigration New Zealand and the purpose is to help newcomers gain access to local information, services and advice to help them pathway into more positive settlement. Settling in, we help newcomers who are living on North Shore and help them to settle well in here. Also, we focus on connecting uh, with the mainstream and the Korean community as well. We provide information, settling in or settlement information to settle well here. And uh, we um, educated um, some, organized some workshop for them as well. Basically, it's like giving people the ABC of um, understanding how the different systems work here in New Zealand. Like today, we have a forum on uh, safety and we call it Keeping Safe in New Zealand because safety is a topic that people don't really think about, especially when you're new. And the idea is to give them a heads up in, about personal safety, road safety, water safety and getting them prepared in the event of an emergency. So basically, the water at the beach is moving all the time. Yep, so it could be moving quite strong or it could be not moving very much at all. So the life jackets are very good, they keep us warm and they keep us floating. The Global Food and Friends Friendship Group is really about bringing migrants and Kiwis together and enabling good friendships to be made and the group we had today um, was about um, an introduction to the Māori culture and many new migrants express an interest to find out more about the Māori culture when they first arrive. So um, we had two people talking today about the culture where they could learn uh, basic greetings and sing a song. And it also gives them a taster of what the culture is about. Don't get too caught up if you can't get the pronunciation correct. Yeah. But if you get the two, that's just a bonus. <laughs> If people want to live here in New Zealand, they do want to have a sense of belonging. And to have a sense of belonging is to be able to connect well. Community development is at the heart of Raven House. It's that drive to create something fresh and new. Where we go out, ask what our communities really need, and work together to put that into action. The Stitch Project started in 2009 and is as a project that is based on a South African project that um, it's, it is, it's about celebrating the diversity of the Auckland region and also improving community health and well-being. The project was initially, it, it was about getting migrant communities to tell their stories of the countries that they came from. These stories were then transferred into pieces of art. We had two wonderful artists who volunteered their time to transfer those wonderful stories into the artwork that you can see on the walls here. Raven House is very important to the development of community because we have hands-on grassroots programs that work with communities and we hear their voices. Even if we were a vibrant nation, you don't rest on your laurels. You actually look to bring out the creativity, the wisdom that's held in communities and really support that local development. So, and you just think in a big city, local development and involvement is really critical to that sense of belonging and keeping well. We really endeavour to um, walk with integrity, to really take the time to hear the voices and people listen, and listen to what they're really saying and um, work with our partners out there across government, across community organisations to make that difference in people's lives. 
Raven House, here for you, here to strengthen the foundations of your community.